All right, this is part two of graphing with a table. Today our objective is going to be a little bit different. Today when we have a problem, we're going to have to solve for y before we can graph the equation. So before we even can start with our table, we have to solve for y in our linear equation in order to isolate the y. So let's look at our example here. We've got 8x plus 4y equals 8. The first thing I have to do is solve for y. So this is a skill we practiced last chapter. We're going to have to get rid of the 8x first, move it to the other side of the equation. So after I subtract this 8x, I'm left with 4y, which I'm going to bring down, and then equals. And then on the other side, 8 and negative 8x, they are not like terms. Remember, we want to rewrite it so that the x term comes first. So I would rewrite this as negative 8x plus 8. Now I have to get rid of that 4 in front of the y, so I'm going to divide by 4. So I divide by 4 everywhere here, and I'm left with y equals negative 8 divided by 4 is negative 2 x, and then 8 divided by 4 is positive 2, so I'll write plus 2. So this is the equation that I'm going to use now in my table. So the very first thing you have to do is solve for y. You have to make sure you have y alone by itself so that you can put it right into here in our table. Okay, now that we've solved for y and we have our equation, we're ready to go ahead and fill out our table. So remember for your x values, you're going to use those standard uh, table values from negative 2 to 2. And then we go ahead and we just plug that right into our function here in for that x. So I'm going to start with negative 2, and then I'm multiplying that by x, which is negative 2 in this case. And then I have to add 2. Whoops. So plus 2 here. And I end up with negative 2 times negative 2 is 4, plus 2, that gives me 6. Okay, positive 6. Which means I now have the coordinates. And let me just go ahead and fill in down the table here because we want to make sure we always write our ordered pairs here. We have the ordered pair negative 2, that was the x value, and our y value is 6. All right, now our next x value is negative 1. So we're going to go ahead and plug negative 1 in for our x. So we start with negative 2, then multiply that by negative 1, and then plus 2. So when I do this in my calculator, negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2, plus 2, that will give me 4. So now I have the coordinate negative 1, 4. All right, next up we are going to plug in 0. So we have negative 2 times 0 and then plus 2. Now the nice thing about plugging in 0 is that when you take anything and multiply it by 0, that whole thing is just going to be 0. So the entire first term here drops out and leaves you with just this number. So the answer is just going to be 2 here, positive 2. So I've got the coordinate 0, 2. And the last couple ones, if you want to pause the video and try these on your own, you're more than welcome to. I'm just going to finish this off. So we are going to plug in 1 now. So we have negative 2 times 1 and then plus 2. That'll give me 0. So I have the coordinate 1, 0. 1 and 0. Oh, what happened to the 1? Okay, last but not least, let's plug in 2. So I have negative 2 and then times 2 and then plus 2. And when I type that in my calculator, negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. Add 2 and you'll get negative 2. A lot of 2's there. Alright, so the coordinate pair here, the ordered pair is 2, whoa, 2, negative 2. Alright, now that we have all of our points, we are ready to go ahead and plot those points so that we can graph our linear equation. So let's start with our first ordered pair, negative 2, 6. That means if I start at the origin, I want to go left 2 and up 6. Next point is negative 1, 4. We're going to go left 1 and up 4. So we've got that second point done. We can mark that off. Uh, next one, 0, 2. So we don't move left or right this time. This time we're just going to move up 2 so that we can plot the point 0, 2. The next one, 1, 0, this time we move right 1, and we do not move up or down. So we're right here, right on the x-axis. And the last point, 2, negative 2, means you're going to go right 2 and then down 2. Okay, now that we have our points, we are ready to connect those points with a straight line. Let's see if I can get it as straight as I can here. Not too bad, I guess. We always want to make sure we show arrows at the ends uh, to signify that it is going forever and forever um, in both directions because it is made up an, of an infinite number of points. Okay, so we're finished with graphing our line. Um, so I just want to recap real quickly. Um, remember, we started with a problem. And in our problem, we had to solve for y first 
We went through all those steps first just so that we could put that right into our table. So make sure anytime you don't have y alone, you have to make sure you solve for y before you try to start uh, plugging in values into your table. Okay, that's it. Nice job. I'll see you guys in class tomorrow.